What's up guys, Casper here, and I'm actually doing a tutorial right now uh, that was requested by I Haze Chaotic, and I'm pretty sure I got that right, <laughs> hope I didn't get it wrong. Uh, he sent me a message on how to, asking me how I can make my bullet move from my tutorial. Now, I'm not using the same bullet that I had in my tutorial as you probably know, but uh, it's pretty much the same thing regardless. So first off, what you want to do, if you have multiple parts to your bullet, like I do here, make them go inside of a null object. Now you can just highlight them, then do Alt-G, and makes a null object, I'm going to Control-Z that, or Command-Z, and uh, undo that. So right here we got it, it's a static bullet. Uh, first off, you guys might want to know what I did to this bullet. Uh, it was originally the axis points and whatnot. Uh, it actually was up about 180 degrees. Let's see if I can get that back. Whatever. Anyway, it was 180 degrees up. So you just want to change where your axis little handle things are, um, so that the green one is right in the middle and it's like straight. So so that's like that. You can uh, do that by clicking this thing right here, which lets you move it around and all that and then you just rotate it with a rotate tool like normal so jeez, oh, <laughs> I'm using a different mouse today kinda sucks but you know what do you got you gotta do what you gotta do alright so now that I got it like that I'm going to set a keyframe at the beginning of my scene which it just is static at excuse me um uh... what's it called uh... yeah so Click your null object if you have a null object. Click click your object if you have an if it's just one object. Click this button right there. That's a keyframe button. Then go to wherever you want the animation to end, and then you can zoom out a little bit like I did, and then just drag. Oh, still in this uh, what's it called axis tool mode thing. So make sure you're back in the model tool, and then uh, frame thirty. Good. Move it down. This is about hold shift to make it snap. Whatever. Uh, it's 300. Good enough. All right. So now that it's there, we can just go ahead and make sure that's highlighted and click the keyframe button. Now, if we go back to the start, if we play it, it's keyframed. So it's moving. Uh, you can also make it go down by using the same thing. By the end keyframe, you can also move it down. Keep, oh, jeez. Keyframe that. So, it's moving down. Uh, what was I going to say? I don't know. I haven't used Cinema 4D in a while, but yeah. So, I'm just going to undo that and make it a straight line for now. Um, okay, now how to make it rotate. Just click it. Make sure you're at the end frame. Same concept, really. Just do the rotation. And then rotate. Keyframe. Oh, Jesus, mouse is stuck. Ah, this mouse is so bad. Good. All right. Hopefully that worked. Did it click? All right. Let's let's check this out. Nope. I don't think it did. All right. So I got to do this again. End. Rotate about there. Keyframe it. Play it. There we go. So you can see, it's now rotating. So if I stop that and then go through frame by frame, you can see I actually have an alpha material on this, which is right here, which is kind of just a simple noise. You can just get untick everything else besides alpha and just go to texture and do like a little noise thing so you can actually see the movement. So go back here, render it out. Don't care about that. And yeah, so that's pretty much it actually. Um... If you want it to do on it go in an arc, you can also adjust the uh, pitch using the rotation tool and just, like make it go down like that after a while. Um, I'm pretty sure you can just do a line to spline too, but I don't really feel like going into detail on that. I probably would get it wrong, but uh, if I really wanted to, I could probably get it right. But that's pretty much it, guys. If you have any questions, comment rate, you know, or comment <laughs> uh, rate if you like all that good stuff subscribe if you want all that better stuff and thanks for watching so peace